What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to our Leap of Faith playthrough. So we finished off with chapter two. Let's get right into chapter three. So when you do complete a chapter, this is a screen that comes up, kind of gives you some info um, with the choices you made with those ladies. Now we have all the characters, how many scenes you've unlocked, how many moments, uh, things you've missed, your levels, how many screens you've seen. I've played this, played through this a few times. So my number is a little on the higher side. Let's get into it. Chapter three. Dreams are weird. Wait, that was another time and place. Sometimes things are so good. You feel like you're dreaming and you never want them to stop. I think you fell asleep. It's hard not to. It's not like you got a whole lot of sleep last night. I didn't hear a lot of complaints. I have nothing to complain about. Not then, not now. I love watching you sleep. That's kind of creepy, just saying. Are you calling me a creep now? Definitely weird, fluffy, murderous toy doll. Sure. I'll be your fluffy toy doll with bunny ears. Uh, <laughs> what? I love you, Steph. You're the best thing that's ever happened to me. And I adore you. Not a big fan of the L word, are you? It's not just a word. It's when it's said, it seals the deal. I thought I, thought I had you in the bag already. You do. So you want me to seal the deal, eh? I'll seal the deal. Make a stuttering sound. I, uh, like you. <laughs> Just horrible. One of ten. Be careful what you're saying, mister. I got all the control in the world up here. Not unless I use my super secret special forces counterattack. Nothing, get off <laughs> Nothing can get me off my throne. I'd like to see you try. Yeah. <laughs> Oops. Oh my god, are you... Okay? Seemed like a good idea at the time. You know, I really, really, really... Like you. <laughs> and I love the way you smell. You always smell amazing. That reminds me, I need a bath. Last one in. That's not even close to being fair. Woohoo, Zer! Wow, channeling her inner East Ventura right there. Did you come to claim your prize? I thought I lost. You won me. Provided you catch me. What is it with you? Is an unfair? Uh, what it? What is it with you? And unfair starts. How's the view back there? Hold on, let me check. What are you? Ah! I believe I can fly. <laughs> I believe I can. Bubble noises. <laughs> I believe I can sink. I can't believe it's the last day of school tomorrow. And here I am with you, feeling I've got the best start in life I can get. Mm, I have to tell you something. But I'm terrified of what will happen when I do. Your name used to be Todd, and you had a gender change? Right there. That's why. Hmm? This is one of the many reasons why you're the most amazing man in the world. Your exceptional way of just... Oh, of being just so breathtaking. It's just one of the thousands of reasons why I love you. Now, wasn't that so bad? That wasn't so bad, was it? I don't care if you use those exact words. I can feel your love stuff. Every day. And I can see that something is eating at you. Whatever it is, I hope you can share it someday. Whenever you feel you can or are ready for it, I'm right here. And it seems like you just sealed the deal. It made me feel like the happiest man alive. I love you so much it hurts. Hold on. That's two times you said it this month. Calm down already. Shut up. You always know what to say, don't you? 
Most of the time. I know it all the time. Oh, all right, miss clicked off the screen there. Or you might say that you're an excellent source of inspiration. Hmm. That's a face. Chapter three, leap of faith. Boy, where have I heard that phrase before? Hmm. <clears throat> okay, I'm giving up. Today, I'm going to buy a new couch no matter what. Ugh. I'm so happy for CC, but I can't f but I can't feel that yesterday was a big step forward for her. She seemed to finally let her guard down for a bit. Samuel, I think the problem is connected to her dealing with emotions. But that kiss would have been rude to reject her because she wanted it, right? Or did I? Then there's what Linda did in the dressing room, and Kira. I forgot to text her back. I'm confused. Well, no use laying here soaking up back pain. Are they still sleeping? Yup. <laughs> Season is still in the covers. I have to say that's quite a rear you've ended up you've got there, Linda. So again, I'm probably gonna have to insert little things to hide bits just in case. No bra. Maybe we should go in for a better view. Christ, what am I even thinking? That's not why I invited them to stay here in my place. What should I do? It's too early to go outside. Hmm. Huh? Oh, that's right. I'm at Steve's place. Feels good waking up in a proper bed. Wait, is he... Watching me? Uh, no. But he's right there. Why am I getting horny? I always had an exhibitionist side. Oh, I see. I spelled that. I thought whatever. That's fine. Let's ignore that. So, so very horny. I guess it wouldn't hurt to. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna definitely have to do something here. Check out that news article Chris told me about with that picture of me and Lexi. It's probably my 15 minutes of fame moment. It would be nice to talk to her again under different circumstances. I have no idea what we would talk about, though. Coming from two completely different worlds, I guess. Okay, so I had to skip a little bit there. There was definitely a whole bunch of bad things. Need to sleep a bit more. She had to take care of something. With him standing right there. You're being silly, Kira. You can't fall head over heels after spending one evening with a guy. That's not how you are. And why are you talking to yourself in third person? But there was some chemistry there, right? And it's so much fun at the bowling alley. And truth be told, I've not been able to get him out of my head ever since. I should just invite him back home. It's supposed to be fun, bringing it into a guy to spice things up. But Robin... Does she like him too? Well, like him like that too? It's just getting messed up anyways. I have to talk to her about it. I'll just have to avoid Steve until then. And he's just laying there topless. Uh, he's that. Leaving. Or can I? I can just I can just have a little look. I mean, talk. Uh, no, I should leave before he wakes up. Or ah, oh my god, make up your mind already. Like who does that? Who just lays on like a bench next to the curb? Topless. <laughs> Who does that? Why am I such a sucker for a handsome body? I mean, personality. Hmm. Careful in the sun there, Tiger. You might get a sunburn. Huh? Is that Kira? Flex a bit and show off. Oh, I didn't know anyone was there. Mind if I join you? Depends. Is that frappy for me? It might be, or I might just walk away and drink it myself. If you don't move over, that is. You had me at it, or whatever your first word was. <laughs> I'm sure you're just laying around here showing off anyway. Well, did it work? I think so. That sweet old lady that went past you was sending some lustful looks. If you're quick, you might catch up with her. Oh, Miss Patterson, 47? No, we only get down and dirty on Tuesdays and Thursdays. 
Huh. Okay. Listen, I was going to reply to your text, but there's been so much going on. Oh, never mind that. I want to tell you that I really had a really good time on our date or whatever that was. Um, we're going to agree, but not mention I like somebody else. I did too. I finally got to learn some bowling. Anyway, so I heard Robin had a messed up opening night her bowling and went by her place. And I saw you there. Yeah, I went by the bowling alley to help her out and got the full rundown. So I, just helped, I decided to help her catch up a bit. And we went back to her place after. We shared a bottle of vodka, played some video games. The way she was grinding you looked like you were doing more than video games. Ooh, she saw everything. Well, let's tell her what happened. Nothing happened. Ah, now I get it. Long story short, you arrived at the worst possible time then. Things got a little out of hand, then we kissed. But we both realized it was not a good idea. I'm just going to adjust my mic here for a second. If you don't believe me, I'm sure Robin can confirm. Wow, I'm such an idiot. You see, me and Robin both have the same stance on sex. Like, it's a hobby or something fun to do. Yeah, she told me the whole hobby story. I think that's why we have amazing sex already. Even though we're in a relationship together, we decided we'd bring a guy so we could enjoy it even more. Even if, it, even if it was with someone else. I just didn't realize that I might actually end up liking the guy. Very much. Awkward. Wait, you're lesbians? Bye, if you're going to be technical. And it's rather funny that you found that to be the most important part of everything I've said. <laughs> well, he's a guy. I'm just flabbergasted. It's alright. It just caught me, caught me off guard. Me too, I guess. I'm kind of lost for words at the moment. And you? Are you mad at me? Or us, rather? Not really. I think I need to cheer her up a bit. Oh my god, stop it, please. That's just too cute. Hmm? Too late. Now you've done it. Cuteness overload. I'm melting. What? She's so confused. The way you were drinking with the straw. It's just too adorable. Can you stop it? I'm drinking normally. Nothing adorable about it. Okay, okay. Whatever floats your boat. But it's still cute. So, I was wondering. Hypothetically speaking from a guy's point of view. If you were into me, would you be okay with me still being... Would you be okay with me still being Robin's lover? Okay. This is actually an important choice. Um, there are a few different times in the game that are affected by this choice. Um, if you pick some, some of the options you pick here will completely lock you out from things later on. The first option here just, just basically does it. And the thing, they come up, it's just a waste of time. It just pops right back up. If you're going for completion sake, definitely pick that one just so she could cycle through and then you'll be back to your choices. Um, I am actually not sure how this will affect the choice I want to make with like for in relation to the person I'm picking. Um, hmm. You know, I'm going to pick the middle option that I'm okay with it. Like, I'm obviously, in real life, yes, I'm obviously okay with, you know, gay or bi, religious, all that kind of stuff. I'm okay, fine. That's fine. I have no problem with that. But I'm trying to think in terms of the story here, how will it affect things? Um, let's do, we're going to pick the middle one. Yes, I'm okay with it. I don't want to get locked out just in case something does happen to come up later. I don't know. I've never played the entire thing with this person. And especially since I'm going to go gun ho for it. Like all the way. We'll see. So you're talking about two girls and a guy relationship. Yes. Of course I wouldn't mind that. Let's be real. Most guys wouldn't. Anyway, I'm supposed to be Robin now at Luca's. Want to tag along? Sure thing. Why not? Great. Just let me finish this. 
and not a word about me drinking weirdly. I may or may not say a word. <laughs> Go with me not, and I may or may not throw something at you. I didn't say anything. Did I? Yes, yeah, take a picture. Cute. <laughs> and she throws something. There she is. Always reading something. Robin. Steve. Key. Oh, Key. Okay, Key must be her nickname. Kiss okay, so hello. What's gotten into your pants? I'm just in a good mood today, honey. But I heard you and Steve had a good time the other evening. He's not too bad. I was way off on my first impression. Don't play video games with him, though. He's cheating. Which is very true. Wait, what first impression? No, nothing. Mm, you two or something else. Mm-hmm. Okay, so if I get you right, you're both very open-minded when it comes to sex. Isn't that the norm nowadays? Uh, we're just going to continue. We're not going to do the challenge one. Still, I'd say it's a bit more daring than most. Not that it really matters, though. By the way, have you started thinking about your bolding situation? Yes, I'm heading over to the bank now to have a talk with them. I don't think it's going to solve anything, though, but it's worth a try. Well, as I've already said, if you need a brainstorm, uh, if you need to brainstorm it, I'm here. I'm not really that good at accepting help, but thank you for trying. It's brainstorming, not a million dollars. And you know, I'll help with anything I can as well. Steve. Ah, this is my friend Chris. Chris, meet Burger Check. Tickler. <laughs> and this is Robin. Nice to meet you. Where's Batman? Uh, because Batman and Robin... That is the worst icebreaker I've ever heard. <laughs> Steve, please. Your friend needs some serious help on the pickups. Dude. Help me. Hmm. Where do your cheeky... Let's do flirty. Looks at Robin. Hi there. I'm Steve. Hello. Hello, Robin. Nice to meet you, Robin. And thank you. For? For saying hello. So I can look at you and remind of what true beauty really is. Slightly better than Chris. Dude. Don't just stand there. Sit down for a coffee. Sure thing. I got a few minutes. <laughs> Didn't go over that one. I wonder why. Now, now. <laughs> so you're that friend I've heard so much about. Only good things, I hope. Time is flying. I need to get up. I need to head off. But I'm going to make that bank appointment in time. Wish me luck. Good luck, sexy. Go for it. You sure? Yes, I want you to. Yeah, I'm off as well. I have to get back to work. I'll catch up with you later. Really? You're going to dress like that? You hobo. Show some skin. You might win the bank dude over. Or bank girl. Whatever. You coming too, Batman? Yeah, let me walk you over. See you later, Steve. So, Batman and Robin, right? I think fails on so many levels. How oh, come? Everyone knows Batman and Robin. Yeah, but seriously, nobody in their right mind would ever want to be Robin in that scenario. But what if Robin was a chick? Mind blown. Then everyone would want to do Robin, not be Robin. Exactly. They're never going to give that up, are they? Doubt it. Oh, I completely forgot. You were going to tell me about Lexi. <laughs> yes, she was at Metro. Did she perform? You talked to her? Was she nice? Yes, yes, and yes. What happened? So I was drinking at the bar, and I heard this voice behind asking if I was okay with some company. And that company was Lexi. No way. Yes, and we shared a bottle of wine, had a nice chat. Actually, I've been, what? I've been waiting for her to call me. 
Well, that's a bit optimistic, don't you think? I mean, she'll call you, like, out of the blue just because you shared a bottle of wine, mister. No, really. Wow, you met, you met Lexi. You're so lucky. <sighs> oh, speak of the devil. Sure, maybe it's Lexi. Hello? Hi, this is Lexi Diamante speaking. Is this the phone of Steve? Oh, hi, Lexi. Yes, indeed, this is Steve speaking. <laughs> I'm so glad I caught you. I wanted to call you earlier, but I didn't have your number. And it's been really hectic on my side. No problem at all. I'm just very glad you got the time to call me at all. I really wanted to thank you properly for taking the time to spend a few minutes with me at Metronome. No, the pleasure is all mine. And apologies if that pap paparazzi picture made you feel uncomfortable. The picture of me and you? No, that picture hasn't brought me any discomfort at all. Honestly, I'm just glad somebody took a picture. The paparazzi will never change anyway, so may as well throw them a bone for the ch uh, throw them a bone to chase every once in a while. I'm trying to keep my mouse out of the way here. Luckily, I don't have a problem with photographers sneaking around in my backyard. I do have the oh, there's this weird guy living on the first floor. I don't know what his hobbies are. <laughs> I consider moving then. But the reason I've called, I have some time off because I just finished my tour, so I'm flying home soon. And I know you might have your own plans, of course, so I'll just throw it out there and feel free to say no if it's inappropriate. But would you like to come visit me at my house in LA? Hells yes. Huh? I said that way too much enthusiasm and way too fast, didn't I? <laughs> Maybe, but I'm not complaining. Is it okay if I bring a friend? You remember Chris from Metronome? Of course you can bring some friends. Although I've only got 10 bedrooms, but maybe we can get some extra beds? That's more than enough. I was thinking more lines of like six friends, tops. Bring them, let's have some fun. You just say the when and where and we book our fl flight tickets as soon as possible. Well, aren't you sweet? Because you don't need to buy any tickets. My plane is landing at your airport tomorrow around 11. Think you'll be ready by then? 100% sure. We'll be ready. Good. I'll be seeing you then. Looking forward to it. Uh, let's just say goodbye. Me too. Have a nice flight. Goodbye, Steve. You little smitten kitten. So that was Lexi. Uh, you're serious, aren't you? Well, the thing is, she kind of invited me to her place, and she kind of said I could bring some friends. And then I want to kind of say she could pick us up at her private plane tomorrow morning. So, you want to come? Yes! Why are you looking at me like that? Because I like what I'm looking at. If I'm going to be honest, I would really like to do a whole lot more than just luck. Uh, so what do you say? Do you want to head out of here and bang like bunnies? Uh, we're just gonna go. Home. <laughs> I'm not uh, progressing that relationship bar for this one. As tempting, and it's less editing for me. I don't have to cut that out. As tempting as that sounds, I should be heading home now. I have to speak to a few people about the trip tomorrow. Oh, damn. That's that's right. I almost forgot. Can I ask Robin, too? Of course you can. I was about to ask you to. And be ready for tomorrow morning. I'll text you the details later on. As, as ready as I'll ever be. See you tomorrow, then. Linda? Cece? Anybody here? Nobody here, it seems. This is my chance to take a quick shower. Oh, that's a butt. <laughs> so, I didn't see anything. Of importance. Just wanted to let you know. And I... Thank you for last night. I had a really good time. Me too. How are you feeling? I know you mean well, but not today, please. And I'm feeling good. <clears throat> sure thing. But you know, I was thinking about that Matt thing. What about it? Well, for starters, like I said, you should really be careful around guys like him. 
You don't think I can handle myself? It's not about that, but you know, looking for trouble is never a good thing. In case you didn't notice, that thing was fixing trouble, not looking for it. I agree, it worked out fine, but I'd like to teach you a little trick in case it doesn't. Can you get over the poor little girl that can't take care of herself thing? You seem capable of taking care of yourself alright, but if anything, just humor me. It's nothing overcomplicated, and you get to learn something new. Sure, let's do this. Just let me put something on. Everything I have is in the washer, though. It's not that much, really. Just a little trick. Yeah, I'm not doing it while I'm in a towel, in any case. Come on, Linda. You bought me yoga, you bought me yoga pants? Doesn't sound so bad. All right, I'll give it a try. No peeking. How am I supposed to get myself into these? They're like made of nothing at all. I'm sure you look amazing. Feels like I'm putting everything on display here. Okay, this is horrible. I'm gonna put them back on. No, please don't, let me have a look. You've already seen me without a towel on. Here it goes. Look great. Sure. No, really, you look fantastic. Wow. Oh, that was awful. I'm not cut for this body on display stuff. Come on, let's get on with this. And you look phenomenal, by the way. So, this trick is very simple, but be careful you don't go too hard, or you might do some serious damage. It's all about getting access to the pinky finger. So you might go for a fast approach and just grab it, or be more subtle. Like this. Mm-hmm. And now, and now you've won. That doesn't hurt at all. It's not supposed to hurt right now. It's when you squeeze it when retracting your thumb, the pain sets in. The pain is intense and it'll keep you from being, and it will keep being so for as long as you apply pressure. And that pain will bring down a 500 pound piece of muscle. Much worse than a kick in the groin. Do it. I don't really want to. I could take it. I'm really good with handling pain. So I want to test how it feels. This is going to hurt. Don't hold back. Squeeze. Okay, okay, let go, let go, go. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I know how much it hurts. Can I try? Sure, give it a go. That is good. Play on your flirty side so the person don't get the person don't get that you are trying to access the finger. Mm-hmm. Keep going. I, you're doing good. Almost there. It's all about getting to that finger. <sighs> and there you have it. Now you just have to apply pressure like I showed you. But please don't. I already know how much it hurts. Shh. Uh, great, great job on the breathing. That draws attention from what you're doing with the finger. Really now? Great job on the breathing? Yes, I meant it. You did great. Ah, oh sweet mother, the pain! <laughs> what the heck did you have for? I told you not to. You deserved it. We had a moment and you ruined it. A moment? What are you on about? What moment? Humph! I don't get it. Men. A moment? And I could perfectly well take care of myself without your finger trick. How, if you don't mind me asking? You know what? I'll show you. Close your eyes. Do I need to cover my privates? <laughs> no. Are you going to pour water on me? Close your eyes. Okay, now what? Now you can open them. Whoa. Hi. Holy crap. Nice, eh? I've been doing Taekwondo since I was six. You are really flexible. Go ahead, lift my foot higher, I won't break. So you see, you might have to think twice about ruining the moment with me. RIP. That was so embarrassing. <laughs> now that's a moment. That is so not a moment. We should nuke it. Oof. What's with the commotion? I think you better ask Cece about that one. 
Hmm. Any luck on the job hunt? Awful. Well, I've got some good news. Do tell. Let's wait for Cece. She's probably not far away. You should probably wait. Whoa, there you are. Cece, can you... Or, wow. Can you knock first? I'm changing. Who cares? I need to pee. Just so open. <laughs> Through relationship. So, I've got some good news. And I'm still pissed at you, by the way. Hmm? Moving on? You know Lexi, right? Who? I think it's that actor that used to date Night, Night Dog. Oh, I love Night Dog. And his new single, The End, is smashing. No, that's not Lexi. She's an artist. I know, right? They're going on forever. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Hip hop rules. Uh, so, if you're done talking about good night dog now, what I was about to tell you, Lexi Diamante called me earlier today, and she invited me to come to her place in Los Angeles, and I said and said I can bring a few friends. So, do you want to come? She's picking up in her private jet tomorrow. Los Angeles. We're going to L.A. Yes, if you want to come, of course. We're going to LA! Uh, with Lexi? Los Angeles! Okay. You two have fun while I go break the news of Chris. No, yeah, he's gonna take it. Is it in comfort? You're taking it way better than I thought you would. <laughs> Okay, I'm good now. Holy crap, she really called you, didn't she? She really did. And just to be sure, you weren't joking about us being invited to her place. Nope. I don't think it's quite dawned on me yet as well. But she seemed happy about it, to be honest. You know what that means, right? It means she likes you. My friend is going to date the hottest pop star in the business. I don't know about that. What, you don't like her? Uh, I blend someone else. She's gorgeous, all right, but there's already somebody else. Now you made me curious, man. Spill. I'll try and help you in any way I can. Alrighty. We're going to pick you know who. Uh, you know who. You really can't get her out of her head, can you? I just want to do, I just want the best for you, man. If that's your choice, I won't stop you. We were going to talk about this again. I haven't picked that option before, so that's, those are new for me, those scenes. We're really going to Lexi's place, aren't we? Yes, we are. Provided you can get time off from work, that is. Shouldn't be any problem. I've got lots of vacation I can cash in, even on short notice. My box my boss is actually quite cool. And he's a fan of Lexi, so I can bribe him with a Lexi autograph. Good. See all ready for tomorrow? When are we leaving? Oh, I didn't tell you that part. We're going, we're getting picked up in Lexi's private jet. And Lexi's going to be there as well. Uh. You're doing so good there for a while. We'll pick, we'll pick you up in the morning. Be ready. 11 o'clock sharp. What's with the lack of clothes? We're getting ready for tomorrow. Packing. Have you packed? I just need 10 minutes for that. I'll do it in the morning. You'll forget something. You know where the mascara is? Should be out there. And the primer, concealer, foundation, powder, bronzer. You take care of that then. I'll get the clothes. Blush, contour, highlighter, setting spray, eye primer, eyeshadow, blushes, eyeliner, cleanser, lipstick. The pink one. Toner, brightener, moisturizer, lip gloss. You already said lip gloss. No, I said lipstick. <sighs> Panties, tampons, bathing suit, yoga pants. Yeah, about that. Hmm? Never mind. Move your butt. You're in the way. Okay, okay. Dun dun. <laughs> I'm not gonna sing. You don't wanna hear me sing. Women. <clears throat> You're in the way. I'm feeling very unwanted right now. Tell you what, lay down on the bed and relax. We'll do the packing. No, no, you got the bed, I'll take the couch. 
Okay, you stop that crap right now. That's your bed, so you get your butt down on it. Hyper, hyper. And don't move a muscle. Yes, ma'am. How can you like scooters, CC? They were popular from like before you were even born. Don't care, they're still cool, okay? Ooh, and we got a message. I'll do Kira first. Take me two. Wait. Moving on. Uh, not, uh, text with her doesn't unimportant, so I'm kind of going to skip that. Uh, Steve, just want to fill you in on details for tomorrow. Plane lands at 11.30. We're hoping to take off at 12. Is that okay with you? I uh, confirm. You bet. I'm just looking, looking forward to it. Me too. See you tomorrow then. We'll be there. This is so nice. Oh, can I move my mouse out of the way? This is so nice. I might actually fall asleep. Oh, and he does off. Oh, I fell asleep. I wonder what time it is. Oh, this is a pleasant way of waking up. The way their hair sticks, uh, the hair slightly tickles my arms and the calming sounds of their breathing. I can get used to this. So relax for a bit. I don't know what time it is, but I hope we have time to relax here some more. Or not. Who? What kind of alarm is that? Crap, we have to get up. Almost just two more minutes. I know your two minutes turns into two hours. I'm going to drag your butt up right now. Whatever. I heard that. You too, Steve. Rise and shine. Give me two Give me two minutes while the blood returns to my arms. Huh? I can't feel my arms right now. Use them as pillows for the whole night. Ready? As ready as I can be. Hang on. I see to fetch my summer shirt. Now I'm ready. Remember, we have to pick up Chris on the way. What? I didn't tell you? <sighs> have to remember and make sure to put a thing on her boob there. Wow, that's Lexi's plane? That's so cool. Where is she? Probably inside. But there's Robin and Kira. Seems like they beat us to it. Can I talk to you for a second before we head over there? You two go ahead. We'll be right over. Sure. Nerves? Probably. Okay. They're, they are over there. We're over here. What's up, man? Don't tell me you need a paper bag. Nah, don't worry. I'm fine. But I was thinking. We're at an airport. Uh-huh. How many people get to walk on the very runway of an airport? This very airport. And there's a plane right over there. We have to do it. We have to do what? The Top Gun walk. Well, we're not pilots. And we're not on an aircraft carrier. Uh-huh. You don't have helmets and those cool flight suits. And... But we have the Xbox thing. Are you sure about this? This is a once in a lifetime opportunity. Yeah, that didn't answer my question. Of course I'm sure. Now let's do this. Suit up, Maverick. I love Top Gun. <laughs> it always gets me. Actually, I actually watched the... Uh, I've watched Top Gun Maverick probably like at least a dozen times at this point. It's fantastic. If you haven't seen it, definitely see it. Uh, time of recording is actually out on Blu-ray, so you can, you can go buy it. I don't think I've ever actually watched this whole thing. <laughs> Let's just skip through it. Now, there is an auto button on the bottom if you want to uh, kind of let it play out so you don't have to click every time to change screens. I might actually start use, utilizing that. I don't know if I can read fast enough. <clears throat> There's Lexi. You know, it's like an indie game, and, you know, the animation's not bad. I give it to them. 
for the most part, it's fairly smooth. Hey guys, and girls, you look amazing. If you went for that grand entrance, you surely made an impression. Good to see you again, Lexi. Good to see you too, Steve. You look good. <laughs> and you too, Chris, you seem more relaxed. Appearances can be deceiving. Feel free to climb aboard. Our pilot said that we have a departure clearance in 12 minutes, so you have to be quick on the introductions. Otherwise, we'll be stranded here for at least an hour. I have no idea what that means. It means we get inside and continue introductions there, Chris. Sounds good to me. Hi, I'm Kira. Nice to meet you, Kira. You look great in hot pants. Oh, now you're making me blush. I didn't think that was possible. Don't worry, it's a good first impression. Come on board and make yourself at home. Hi, I'm Robin, Kira's girlfriend. Lexi, and that's so beautiful. Much love to you two. Alright, I'm Linda, longtime friend of Steve. Lexi, and you look beautiful. Ha, <laughs> no, I'm just me. No, you're absolutely gorgeous, love. I mean it. And welcome. Oh my god. You're Lexi. No, I mean, you're that girl from... <laughs> oh my god. Stupid thing. Oh yes, him. I know him. That song was so amazing. I'll take that as a compliment, sweetheart, because I wrote the song. No way! Way. Oh, I'm Cece. That's a beautiful name, Cece, and welcome. Both of us can hear the dog grumbling in the background. Might not be able to hear that, but... Yeah, she can hear the neighbors, and sometimes she grumbles. <laughs> you stop over there. Steve, we're just waiting for now. For you now. Time to get aboard. Ooh, or should I take a selfie? Let's do a selfie. Sure. Try to take as many pictures as you can. Lots of notification noises. Ha! Huh. We see your nuke, Steve. And yes, we're just waiting for you now. Come on, sweetheart. Coming. This is going to be awesome. Are they doing a little jig? Hopefully the background music's working this time. Uh, it was actually on in the last episode, but for some reason OBS didn't capture it. I don't know why. Hopefully it's picking up this time. And hopefully I don't get copyrighted from it as well. Not that it actually matters. And I've never been on a private plane. The, on my bucket list is definitely uh, going up in like a little two-seater prop plane. Oh, that would be amazing. Are you ready, Chris? No. Wait, you've never flown before? No. You're in for a treat then, because here we go. Yeah, people's first time. I was a kid first time I flew. Amazing. That was amazing. So we're flying now? Cruising at 45,000 feet, according to the flight screen. Open the blinds and have a look. You're like a kid in a candy store, you know that? Wow, so high. And he's going to be looking out that window for quite a while. I can see the wing. As said. <laughs> Thank you for this. Don't thank me. Thank Lexi. Oh. Oh, no. I was trying to see if maybe there's something to click on some of these scenes. I know there is some stuff I've missed that I've been still trying to find, but... No, thank you for hanging in there. Did you know that Lexi knows not... Oh, my God. Still on that. Who now? The rapper. Oh, the one you were talking about yesterday. Come here. Hmm? Shh, come close. Just come. Do you think you can ask Lexi to get his autograph? I'm sure you can ask her yourself. She'll probably be happy to help you if she can. 
But you've known her longer than me. What, 30 minutes longer. And you're more daring than me. You really don't want to speak. You don't really don't want to ask her yourself. Please. Sure thing. Alright, so we got another task. Help her get an autograph. There's a couple ways you can do that. Okay, so I have no relation. If you actually read the text here, I have no relationship points with CC, so I can't do that one bonus scene, but that's fine. We're not trying to do that today. I can promise anything. I can't promise anything, though, but we'll try. I'm going to make myself a drink. Do you want something? I don't have any clue about drinks, but mix me up something. I want it to try. Chris, keep the lady company, will ya? One excellent company coming right up. Girls. Steve, come join us. Don't mind me. I need to check something with Robin. Have fun, sweetheart. It's very nice to see you again, Lexi. Thanks again for calling. I really appreciate it. To be honest, I know we all do. No trouble at all. In fact, I'm very glad you can come. I really want to let loose and enjoy myself for a bit after this long tour. So you and your friends were a blessing right now. I'm sure we'll get along just fine and have a good time. Looking forward to it. But I feel I need to tell you a little secret. It's been on my mind for some days now and I can't really let it go. Oh? You see, I bought a bottle of wine to this gorgeous woman I met once. That we shared while the sun was setting somewhere in the world. But that woman, no matter how gorgeous she is, decided to pick up the tab behind my back. And you seem like a woman of the world, so I would ask you how you would address the situation. I'm sure that woman is fine with having paid for that wine, or she wouldn't have done it. And in my personal, very professional opinion about that woman, is that she probably had a very good time with a charming, handsome man. Oh, damn. I promised myself I wouldn't choke up, but... Your hair got in the way. We make a lot of hair jokes. Your hair got in the way. Huh. Uh-huh. It's horrible. I should probably go fix it, but come see me in the back of the plane in a few minutes, okay? I got a surprise for you. And can you be a darling and bring me a drink? The bar is at the front of the plane. Of course. Any requests? Not sure if they have wine in this shabby place. Of all the gin joints and all the towns in the world, I'm glad you're in mine. But surprise me. Let's see if you bring something tasty. Robin, can you mix me up a few drinks? One for me, Lexi, and Cece? Wow, read that out of order. Your thing, anything in particular? You're the expert here. Hook us up with something good. You got it. And Linda? She definitely needs a cock. Nope, I didn't actually mean to say that. What the? A stiff one. Of course, but which one? Huh, uh, yes please, can you do a Martinez? Will do, honey. Sitting here alone, eh? I am, just soaking in the good atmosphere. We never really had a chance to catch up, did we? Just you and me. I guess so. You always seem to be getting, getting interrupted somehow. But you seem to be doing good, Steve. Life's been treating you well? Hmm, well, both yes and no. I was thinking more about you. How's life been treating you? I can't complain. I know you well enough to know that you wouldn't complain if someone dropped a bomb on your favorite pet. You can't enjoy the present if you're stuck in the past. But but they can scar... Okay, don't look now. But I think Kira and Robin are getting warmed up. I said don't look! I never learn. That looks kind of hot. Uh, Linda. <laughs> huh? Yes, they seem to be enjoying themselves. Uh, let's go get the drinks. I should go get the drinks. Where did they go? At least Robin's finished making the drinks. Oh, I'm gonna have to cut this part out. Mm, maybe not. Don't peek. Let's not look. I'll, li I'll leave them to it. Now, if I were playing this and not recording it, yeah, I would peek. A lot, I, I would, there's a lot of scenes I've skipped over that I would have probably gone through. Uh, you can see those for yourself. Buy the game. It's on Steam. Play it. 
enjoy it. See, experience the game for yourself. Make your own choices. Um, I'm just going through one very, very narrow path. Very narrow. Here you go, Mademoiselle. One Martinez. You remembered. But do you know what drink is? What drink is for the rest of them? Well, the highball is obviously for me. That's a manly drink, I think. It's got scotch, so probably. Uh, the mojito is a typical drink for those new to cocktails. And the Cosmo is an all-time classic woman's guilty pleasure drink, right? Don't look at me. You're on your own on this. What? You don't want to get involved? You don't want to get mixed up in this? <laughs> You'll become a great dad someday. Huh? You're already nailing the dad jokes. I probably invented some of them. Drinks incoming. What? No beer? You're too busy staring out the window. There's probably some in the bar at the front of the plane. But I have one for you. We're going to give her the mojito. One mojito for you. Thank you. Hope it tastes better than it looks. Yum. This tastes great. Actually told me to come back here. Hopefully I'm not interrupting anything. Uh, that's not what I was expecting. <laughs> uh, we were a bit early, but it's fine. What do you think? Okay. <laughs> so that's you have to cover this up. Um, but the bottoms are actually a hint at something later on. Wow, just wow, I'm speechless. I mean, look at it, it's glowing. And you brought me my favorite drink. I love highball. Hope you enjoyed the view. I did, but I'm sorry I arrived before you were fully dressed. Not to worry, I'm pretty sure you didn't see anything I didn't already show in my last music video. Oh, I'm pretty sure I did. Huh, yeah, that's a new. those are actually new for me. I haven't seen it before. Huh, I need a drink. Yuck. Wow. She's not shy, that's for sure. Well, look at Sleepyhead here. Not sleepy, just soaking it all in. Maybe I could find some way to turn this into a party. Hmm. Either that, or I might actually get some sleep. Is that our ride? Yes. Kevin, so good to see you again. Miss Diamante, you're always breathtaking. Yeah. Wow, you're breathtaking as always. Don't tell me. Limo, right? Not just any limo. Wow. How many times have I told you? Call me Lexi. As you wish, Lexi. Kevin, this is my friend Steve. Pleasure to meet you, sir. Wow, what a car. We need some good music in here. How about 235? Whatever that is. Yes, everyone knows 235. If, if he doesn't get the mood up, nothing will. Don't shame the 235. Okay, let's see if I got this right. Um, it won't start. It does that sometimes. Why don't we all sing it instead? I mean, you're the singer. Yeah, unfortunately, I couldn't get the license. I'm not going to do the search. I'm, let's kind of play through this. Unfortunately, I, mean, I may throw some, like, copyright free music or something maybe in here just to fill the gap <laughs> this is them singing along here yeah so on the plane there's so many different ways that can go when you go and see her topless there um you can either be late and she's already done you have like a little moment in the back together um, where you guys can kiss, or is yeah, I don't want to explain any more than that. Um, there's actually quite a bit of stuff on just on that plane alone that can go differently. And it's like, yeah, there's that opportunity to start the party, which I didn't do, so you really need to pay attention. And depending on your relationship choices, can really go different ways. And I'm saying, all I'm gonna say is taking pictures is important early on. You actually do use them if you're a completionist. As I'm pretty sure the story finishes the same regardless. But yeah, there's an ending. There's a special ending for every single person. And I'm actually pretty sure there's more than one for every single person. I know like Lexi has like three different endings you can get for her. 
Um, Cece, there is three endings for her. So, you know, definitely buy the game and play it and see them for yourself. I'm not sure humble is the right word you're looking for. Wow, come check out the pool. This is a dream come true. Looks delicious. Can't wait to bomb that pool. Or just lay there for a few days, sipping on something good. Make yourself a home. Do as you would do at your own place. A bedroom's upstairs, but all the guest rooms are downstairs. The luggage should have been down there already, so feel free to pick out rooms and get comfortable. I'm going to crash here while you guys get sorted out. Steve, would you like to accompany me? I don't know how to get this top option. I've never gotten that. Now they look at the best beds. I've never, ever had that option available. Of course. I kind of feel like a bad host right now, but I'm shot. We should have a party or something. I'm sure we'll manage just fine without a party right now. Jet lag is going to set in any time anyway. Those boots are wonderful to put on, but so fantastic to get out of afterwards. You've said you've been away for a full year? Yes, well, 364 days, but I'll count that as a year. Sounds exhausting. Not really. The tour itself is a blast. Time flies by, and you're surrounded by people who love you, literally. The exhausting part is getting the list of concerts you're going to do before the tour. I see that list, I cry. I'm a superstar, eh? Well, we come from two different worlds, Lexi. It's hard to imagine. Tell me a bit about yourself, please. I'd love to hear. Any girlfriends? Nope. Just nope? Well, I lost my girlfriend a few years ago. It took a long time to get over. I haven't really found a new one yet. Although, there's somebody piquing my interest, though. Hmm. And work? Uh, I wish I could tell you something exciting, but most of my life is as boring as it gets. Finished school. Got a job straight away. I've been working in the sewers for a few years. Let's just say it's the most... It's most likely a whole lot less glamorous than what you're used to. Yeah, let's just be honest. Although I got fired a few days back, so right now I'm actually not doing anything. What? You thought I was going to think differently about you because you got fired? I wasn't sure, to be honest. And you still told me. If anything, that tells me a lot about you as a person. Much more than go you going on about how normal your job is. It's not where you work that counts, but who you are as a person. Although, it doesn't sound that pleasurable. It's not that bad, really. Let me get used to it. And there's no paparazzi down there. <laughs> Every job has its perks. Would you like to do me a tiny favor? Can you close your eyes just for a little bit? Oh no, I'm terrified. I just want to test something. Look on the words best suited to your feelings to advance the scene. As you close your eyes, you instantly feel... Nervous. Should you be doing this? Because you really like someone else. But the sweet smell of her perfume is overwhelming, and you feel your whole body relaxing. Suddenly, you can feel a small, almost unnoticeable breath of air against your lips. Almost giving you a jump scare. The breath of air gets warmer until it's replaced by the softest lips you have ever felt. You instantly feel that this is wrong. Knowing knowing well you have feelings for someone else, you hesitate and open your eyes. You let go, trying to find a way to explain why, but the voices in the background gets louder, interrupting you. For a moment, you see the you ah you seem to spot the woman behind the superstar. Then it's gone. Yeah, the fake smile comes back. Shame. And then the guy goes, what moment? That sounds like a moment to me. Definitely a moment. <laughs> what moment? I don't get it. Men. I think I'll leave you without your mo- I think I'll leave you with your moments. Just going to stretch my legs a bit. You okay there, my dude? Better than in a long time, man. Oh, yeah, the scene. This place is fantastic. It's completely unreal. But she kissed me. She's so sweet, sensual, flirty. 
say who she is or does she want something more? One of you, but the smell. Why have I been smelling rose and jasmine the whole day? Oh, the shirt. I guess she wore it last. Have you not washed your shirt in years? You're really good friends, aren't you? We've been best buddies since school, my young lady. Yeah, Linda told me. But all the crazy stuff you did? Those years were the best. We did all kinds of weird things, always having a blast. Steve, me, Linda, and Stephanie. Why do I feel like there's something going on every time I, her name is mentioned? No, it's about time I stopped dodging a bullet just because of her. Things were that bad? No, things were great. They just ended badly. One day, suddenly, she was gone. There was no preceding event to suggest she would leave. Still, suddenly, she did. For two whole years. I have no idea why she left. But the saddest thing is that knowing her, she probably had a good reason. I just wish she had said something before she left. She loved him. I know she did. And he loved her? He did. They were perfect for each other. I honestly thought they would grow old together. That many years from now, we would sit at, at, this, at his porch talking about the good old times while Steph would bring us both a refreshing cold one. She was compassionate, friendly, loving, nice, always there, a wonderful friend. But she hurt my best friend. Hmm. Huh? What's this? Oh, this has got to be old. Wonder what it is. Huh? My dear. I'm writing this letter because I don't think I'll be able to say what I should have said a long time ago. Not while looking into your beautiful eyes. But I've made a really big mess, one I have to sort out. It means I have to go away for a while. I don't know for how long. A month, two months, or even longer? Much longer. I don't even know my, myself, and what do I know? I was not allowed to tell you. I shouldn't even write this letter, but I have to. I'm not afraid to show them how I really feel about you anymore. I love you. Don't cry, don't cry, don't cry, don't cry. Keep going. More than you'll ever know. Knowing that I'm hurting you is a burden almost too heavy to carry. But I will do it again in a heartbeat, as long as you're safe. I will return, and when I do, I will explain everything. And I hope I can jump in your arms when I do. I don't think it's technically true. I'm so, so sorry, baby. Eternally yours. Stephanie. That sucks. Boop. And that concludes the chapter. All right. So, uh, that was a big one. That was a big one. Uh, it's slightly a bit longer than the first couple. Uh, you could see... How you can really see how this game is. Uh, it is more focusing on the story than it is on the sex scenes. It's not like something like um, College Kings or something where you're you know banging everybody all the time. It is really trying to hit the heartstrings. Uh, yeah, so that's that's it for this episode. We get all three of three bonus scenes unlocked. We didn't miss one opportunity, which is fine. And did not bring the party to Lexi. I've never done that. I don't even understand. I'll have to figure that out. Maybe I'll look it up. Uh, yeah, so we did unlock... I did see some new scenes. I've never actually seen that scene before with Lexi being topless. Um, and there's one other one that, that we saw that I never saw before. But that'll be it for this one. Thank you so much for watching. Hit that like, hit that subscribe. Stay tuned for the next chapter. Now that we're at Lexi's place, time to have some fun. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys next time.